evening and welcome to the first ever episode of our weekly tourism feature, Let's Travel Caribbean. Now, Sandals Resorts International has opened its 16th Sandals Resort, Sandals Royal Curacao, racking up a number of firsts in the process. The resort company's debut in the Dutch Caribbean sets in motion entirely new and innovative ways to experience the charming Caribbean island while reinforcing the company's island-first approach to tourism and its impact on the local ecosystem. Sandals Royal Curacao is located within the exclusive 3,000-acre Santa Barbara estate, just 15 miles from the Curacao International Airport. Its signature west-facing position on the southernmost part of the island authentically intertwines nature with the resort experience while capturing one of the Caribbean's most spectacular sunsets. Here, couples can discover the beauty and geographic diversity of Curacao, known for its adventurous terrain, its pristine beaches, limestone caves, and spectacular diving sites. Among the sandals first set Sandals Royal Curacao is the brand's first ever bi-level infinity pool, with views overlooking the Spanish water and the rugged mountain landscape beyond. Lush garden and tranquil ocean views complement impeccable island chic design imbued with the Caribbean warmth of Curacao. In an age of great men, Gordon Arthur Butch Stewart stood out as a beacon of human possibility. As a proud Jamaican, Butch Stewart blazed a trail that has redefined entrepreneurship and humanized success for over 40 years. This evening, our tourism spotlight shines on the man, the legend, the visionary, born on this day in 1941. And joining us to pay tribute to his dad is Executive Chairman of Sandals Resorts International, Adam Stewart. Thank you so much for joining us this evening to pay homage to a giant on this very special day, Mr. Stewart. Uh, it's fabulous to be on with you. I really appreciate it. I want you to share with us what brought about the catalyst of the entry of Mr. Stewart into tourism. You know, my dad was a, an entrepreneur, even even probably ahead of his own self, not, not realizing how much of an entrepreneur he was at, at, at such a young age. And um, at the time, Jamaica was going through challenges. He needed a way to advance. Uh, he, he saw an opportunity in a sector. He, he grew up on a beach in Ocheres, Jamaica. Um, and he saw an opportunity to do something with tourism. And equally at the same time, he needed to find a way to earn foreign exchange when it was very difficult to get foreign exchange in Jamaica uh, to protect the ATL, uh, the ATL appliances business at the time. And um, so he, you know, he took a gamble on himself. He was a young man, 19, uh, 1980. They had the first sandals opened in 1981. And he, um, you know, he went for it. And what an unbelievable job he did. Absolutely. Yes. There's no doubt that he has made tremendous contributions to the sector overall. What would you say has been his most significant to date? You know, sitting in the seat I sat at for over 20 years working with him and then watching him as a kid, um, as a, you know, being in the household and watching, watching what got him most passionate most fired up, most um, most uh, enthusiastic, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, was his continuous investment in people. Uh, he he loved to invest in people. He loved to push people. He, he had a way of pushing you beyond uh, you recognizing your own capabilities. Yeah. And I think um, ultimately, what he what he what he wrapped that all in a in a bow. And kind of uh, explain it as was, well. you know, his investment through people gave them the opportunity for them uh, to self-actualize and to achieve uh, achieve their ultimate economic goals and, and professional goals. And I think um, I think when I look back, that 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 is with certainty the number one thing that um, you know that he, he he really just absolutely loved this continuous investment and evolution of the mind. Uh, where people could uh, could have career paths that they never saw imaginable. From the very beginning, he knew that if he invested in his people, and of course his product, but the you know, product without the people, uh, just you know, it's simply a product. And uh, and that was that was something that was just he was a master of it, and it was something that was uh, like a symphony. Uh, watching him lead. Absolutely. Now, what was the mantra that guided how he did business and guided how his teams would operate? You know, one of my dad's superpowers was he could take a highly sophisticated situation and distill it down 
to a very simple philosophy uh, belief system and um and he said it all the time he said you know it it's a very you know business is a very simple thing find out what people want exceed their expectations in its delivery and um and he he had this he had this gift to just in any you know whether we're selling air conditioners whether we're selling hotel rooms newspapers just figuring out what the market was looking for almost like a filter system like a radar system and just bring it right down to the kind of lowest common denominator and and then in, in representing the product back to the customer make sure make it frictionless seamless uh make sure you're easy to do business with and blow people away go go beyond what the call of duty required and uh and that was that was his mantra the whole time find out what people want and in in its execution uh, exceed their expectations all right uh, now what is your vision for the future you know for this dynasty that is now within your direct purview you know i look life waits for no one time keeps on ticking and 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 the world around us is continuously evolving uh, i think what we do day to day in all of our businesses you know we are the market leaders in just about everything that we do uh on the hospitality frontier it's all about evolution uh we loosely refer to it as sandals 2.0 it is a continuation of the same quality of exceeding expectations of out investing and out performing all of our competitors around us uh service delivery training advancement we we put all of that together it comes together um in an evolutionary product and that is that is the track that we're that we're focused on so we're building more sophisticated hotels we are changing gears in 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 just what we've talked about the, the ability to uh to infect the minds of our people uh in 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 training and advancement um looking at services being very eyes wide open to the to to the, the hospitality world the global hospitality world and what's going on and i think you're seeing that in each of the products that we're opening sandals raw bahamian earlier this year in nassau the new sandals raw curacao and of course the all new sandals don river so you know just the name of you so it's all about continuous evolution continuous investment and uh, and making sure that we are on the cutting edge uh across the board wow awesome and i can tell that uh, one of the the major uh things that is on the the agenda is demonstrating what customer service delivery is about as well setting the bar definitely definitely it's always been who we are and you know we 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 revel uh in the, in the details or on training we revel in the details of making sure that you know today sandals is our uh, international is 15000 team members the atl group is near 3000 and um, that puts us almost at 18000 This time next year we'll have another 3000 team members join in in our growth uh overall and it's one person one mind at a time making sure that our corporate universities and our training academies are are uh, finding the superpower that's within each individual and making sure that we you know we polish that individual so that they can rise and rise and rise and it's still a concept of you know teach someone to fish rather than giving them a fish you give them a profession you give them a career and uh, and then our company as a growing enterprise has those opportunities for uh for for the team members to be able to, to ascend and grow and and achieve their own goals and their own dreams and i think uh, when you can mobilize your army of superstars you can achieve anything in the world and of course we have uh what we believe are the best products and we have the best team and you put those together and that's why we're world's world's best absolutely and i'm sure there'll be no rebuttals there <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to join us this evening. You heard there from Executive Chairman of Sandals Resorts International Adam Stewart and son of the legendary Gordon Butch Stewart. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's it for this week's edition of Let's Travel Caribbean. Join us again next Wednesday at 6 p.m. for another in the series. I'm Stacy Ann Delavanti.